Good morning everyone. It is, it's Wednesday. I have just finished up getting, ooh, getting ready. I looked quite fancy schmancy a minute ago because I had my dressing gown like this and I look like a really fancy old school screen person. No, I didn't. I've just done a fresh layer of fake tan and I'm feeling like a new person because I had a very disrupted night's sleep last night. I don't know what got into Lumi last night. Like, honestly, I have no idea what was wrong with her, but she was just waking me up on the hour, just touching my head, scratching me. I was like, I fed her, I let her out, I fed her, <laughs> I stroked her. <gasps> I'm so tired because of it. It was like having a child, but obviously not like having a child. Please don't kill me for saying that. This morning I am, I have quite a, quite a busy day actually. I'm heading to Paris with Laura Mercier and I'm really excited about it because this is my first time ever like going with the brand, ever doing anything with the brand. And as you know, your girl loves her Laura Mercier stuff. I'm literally wearing the tinted moisturizer illuminating as we speak. And I love it. It's just so beautiful and sheer. Oh, love it. So I'm wearing that as we speak and I'm not going with it, all of the UK girls because I have a campaign with Heathrow World Duty Free today. So I'm heading down there first off. I'm also gonna be doing, like I'm vlogging the trip, but I'm gonna be showing you my outfits and I have some killer outfits for this trip, okay? And I am so, so excited for you to see them. I'm gonna show you them all, fingers crossed, because sometimes you get to hotel rooms and they don't have full length mirrors. I mean, what is that? <laughs> But I'm also gonna be showing you the underwear that I wear with the outfits. You probably might have seen if you follow me on Instagram. If you don't, please do come over and follow me. If you don't follow me, it's at Lady E. Millen. I announced that I am the new UK ambassador for Intimacy Me and this is just incredible. Like the response to that was unreal in itself. My hair keeps falling out, why is it doing that? But yeah, your guys' response and all of like the, the positive words were amazing and just made me so happy. To be an ambassador for a lingerie brand is quite special. The fact that they are Italian lingerie, oh my God, even better. And it was a real pinch me moment, so it was really cool. So I'm working with them on this video. I'm gonna be showing you my favorite pieces, but also showing you some items from the new Sarah Jessica Parker bra twist campaign. And now I think it will be hard to find anyone of my generation who isn't a fan of Sarah Jessica Parker. So this is a really exciting partnership in itself. But the reason that I wanted to partner with Intimacy Me is because they are bra specialists. They focus on the needs of real women and offer them over 40 different types of bras. Basically, the campaign with Sarah Jessica Parker includes a fun little tutorial called Bra Twist that shows women how to find their perfect bra in four easy steps. And the campaign launches today, so you can go and check that out. I will either link it down below or I'll slot it in somewhere in this video. You can use a QR code or you can follow the link on Instagram and it will basically take you to a Sarah Jessica Parker style avatar. And with her, you can choose the right bra for you, have a little dance and also take a selfie with the avatar before you go ahead and purchase your favorite bra. Now I have my favorite bras. I know that I mentioned in a previous video how I really struggled with finding bras, so I usually would just wear vests because I couldn't find bras that fit. I don't wear vests because I want to, trust me. I don't really tend to wear underwire bras too often and I really go for triangle sort of bras that are wireless. And when I first put on an Intimacy Me bra, I was like, oh my God, my breasts have been answered. I can sleep in these bras. They are like pajamas. They feel so good and yet they look so good. So I'm gonna show you the bra that I'm gonna wear today and the matching pants, because now your girl gets to wear matching bras and pants. This is a luxury that I have never, ever had. Comfortable, sexy, beautiful, gorgeous quality, gorgeous colors. And I get to wear the matching pants as well. This is. This is a revelation for someone like me who has a very like weird bra size as well. I literally just ask what bra, bra size I should take. I usually take a 28 double F and they advise me to take a 34B in the triangle bras and they fit 
perfectly. So I know that a lot of people were like wondering about the sizing. Please, please, please check if you go in or if you can online what size they would suggest for you because it's not like, it's not how you would think it would be. And I think that that's fairly normal. But yeah, this video is really exciting for me. So I hope you enjoy it. It's weird and I can't believe I'm saying this, but I know that there has been a lot of interest in what underwear I wear, which, uh, yeah. That, that that blows my mind, but I'm just, it, it's true, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna show you my outfit today, show you all my outfits from this trip, and hopefully that's quite interesting for you. Makeup today is super simple as well. I'm wearing By Terry CC, Laura Mercier, Tinted Moisturizer Illuminating. I'm wearing the Stretch Concealer from Glossier because I have lost my NARS ones, unfortunately. I've got By Terry CC powder in Sunny Flesh and Apricot Glow. Laura Mercier, no, NARS mascara? I can't remember. Girl and Eyeliner, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brows, NARS, and By Terry Lip, and that's it. So that's what I'm wearing today. So I've just heard Carrie pull up outside, and I need to get dressed, so let's do this. So this is the Emma bra, and this is the one from the actual Sarah Jessica Parker bra twist campaign. This is what I'm wearing today, and this is probably my most worn style because it's obviously this gorgeous satin, but it's also obviously completely opaque, and it's just beautiful and comfortable and easy to wear. So I've got this in nude and white as well, but because today's outfit is black, this is what I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna show you this one on. I can't show you all of the bras and pants on because obviously some of them are a bit lacy, and you won't be able to see through them but I'm going to show you this one on in particular because it's just so easy to wear and so beautiful and this is the set on and it is just the most flattering and the most comfortable set I think well I have literally replaced all of my underwear with these sets and then the lacy version as well and they're just so easy to wear I've got multiples of each style so that I can just wear the same style basically all the time so it's just lovely and it's super comfortable I know I keep saying that but it really is and this is just a game changer for me because I don't like bras that add any size or make my like push them up at all I just like my boobs to be covered and this makes me very happy so I'm gonna get dressed and get ready to go so this is my outfit for traveling to Paris obviously it's only like an hour's flight so it takes no time at all but I've got the new H&M studio blouse on I love this so much the sleeves are just gorgeous then I've got my Stella McCartney leather trousers faux leather trousers Christian Dior belt Jimmy Choo pumps and Christian Dior bag. This is going in my bag. I've already got a pink scrunchie in, so I don't know whether to do green or pink, but I feel like the pink goes better with my bag. Yeah, that's good. And then obviously I've got the Emma bra underneath with the matching briefs. Cute. Guys, we have just arrived and I'm staying in a hotel that I've actually never stayed in in Paris before. We have literally no time whatsoever. Everyone else is here because they got the Eurostar and I had to fly over. But basically, oh, there's my screen. I've got a new camera coming, I promise. Yeah, we were stuck on the tarmac coming out and then we were stuck on the tarmac coming in and it was just a nightmare. So we've got to really quickly get ready. I've got to change my dress put some boots on and just touch up my makeup but we're here and this this is so amazing oh my gosh there's so much stuff and I can't show you so I might have to show you loads of stuff when I get back but this is the room and it's all very very snazzy we've got this stuff here so we've got Laura Mercier's secret guide to Le Marais the itinerary for this evening bonjour Ali and Lydia or Lydia and Ali welcome to beautiful Paris there's truffle chips and there's lots of nuts oh my gosh how exciting Ali is, oh my God, look at this mirror. Perfect for outfit of the days. We were so worried and yet look at this. Lots of lip stuff down here. More Laura Mercier <gasps> flowers. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. I'm not gonna ruin anything and I'm gonna take pictures for Instagram stories. Oh my God, there's more here as well. Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow. Okay, right, I have to go guys. We're gonna do, oh wait, no, I have to show you in here. This is the walk-in wardrobe complete no, with- I'm just killing your shot. Mr. Mill and Gordon in shot. We've already got our iron in here and then the bathroom. And this is the stuff that I am so excited about because I have never ever tried any of the body products. Oh, creme brulee. I'm gonna put some of that on before we go. And then there's also skincare. Let's see how much 
products on the table for you. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I can't even go through any of it because I'm like rushing so much. But there's more skincare here, which I've also never tried any Laura Mercier skincare. I'm just obsessed with their base products. I love their tinted moisturizers and that's basically why we are here. So I'm guessing that's why I'm here because I'm wearing Laura Mercier. Tinted moisturizer illuminating at the moment and I love it. But anyway, quick, get ready. I'm not even gonna have time to do my makeup. Oh, you babe. You babe, thanks for that. Okay, I'm showing you my outfit in the bathroom because the lighting is brilliant. I've got my Emma bra in black underneath, which is from the Sarah Jessica Parker campaign. I'm wearing the matching briefs and then I've got on this black dress which is from H&M Studio. Dual bag, dual belt and Chloe boots because tonight's theme is black and gold. Hey Kate. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Lid sorting out a quiff. my home videos recently you will know that I am in my absolute element at the moment look at all this pampas look at all of this dried beautifulness this is like my idea of heaven look at this if I could do my wedding again it would be like this a hundred percent look at these views and then over here we've got the Eiffel Tower of course iconic we're also sat with all of our favourites as well, which is perfect. And we've got Yoni, we've got Thick. Oh, I'm just stealing her shot here because she's taking a picture. Hello, hi. 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 <laughs> Look at these guys. So cute. This looks like a boy band photo shoot. I love this. <laughs> I'm sneaking in there. Oh my gosh, yeah, get in there. <laughs> <laughs> See what? Alex. Look, it's like multiplying by the second. All of the husbands and boyfriends are coming over. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Let's see those smiles. Come on. <laughs> I love it. Crazy. Oh, that's cute. Peer pressure at its finest. She's oh, doing one. Did. <laughs> <laughs> Send it. Wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, she sips it. She's sipping it like a beast. Oh, done it, oh. We finished up at the dinner and we've come back to the hotel for a <laughs> nightcap. And we've got the whole crew here. Fix here, ordering her drink. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> and then we got Patricia. Hello, hello. Yes. We got Amina. Hello. Hey. Oh, we don't care about these ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good evening everyone, we are back, for, oh gosh I look very pink in my face because I've just washed it, but we are back from dinner and it was so beautiful and just such a great group of people, honestly we had so much fun, all of the like American crew went to Crazy Horse or something and bless them that they really wanted Ali to go, especially the boys, but we went downstairs and had a nightcap at the hotel instead. It was me, Alex, Vic, Ali, Patricia and Amina and it was really lovely. I had port for the first time ever, so that was nice. I've got my pyjamas on. These are my Intimacy Me pyjamas from their new autumn collection and I think that these are bit of a favourite with Ali but they're super comfortable, super soft and I always feel like it's like a bridal set but yeah this is just perfect for throwing on and jumping into bed in our gorgeous hotel but these will be linked down below as well. I've got so many pyjamas from them, they're super cosy. I've just done my skincare as well and I still haven't had a chance to show you everything that's in the room Laura Mercier have left because it was just so busy when we arrived, like it was so rushed, we literally had 10 minutes to get ready and that's what it's usually like on a press trip as well, it is just so so fast and like especially when timings kind of run over. Yeah, I'm gonna put some nourishing cream on and jump into bed and marinate. Good morning 
everyone. I am up and showered and feeling good. We still went to bed quite late though. Jesus, it was almost like three o'clock after bed. Two. You went to bed at three. Oh, Ali. Let's not talk about my hair at the moment, but I'm getting ready for the day. I'm using one of those simple human mirrors. Also doing it whilst I'm sat in front of a window. So yeah, my skin is having a moment this morning. I don't know if this is my color. I'm only gonna use a small amount because like I said, my skin's looking good this morning. Mm. It's quite light. As in color wise, not in finish wise, because I'm just wanting like natural kind of glowy skin today. I'm not gonna do a makeup tutorial with you by the way, but I'm just kind of catching up. I'm not sure what's happening today now because we had an itinerary, but I think that changed late last night. So I'm not actually sure what is going to happen today. So you may have to bear with me on this because I don't know. And if I don't know, you don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I really like this, it's nice and light. But let's get some concealer on where we need it. So I'm gonna use medium. And to be honest, there's not a lot. Just a few like healing points and under my eyes, of course. And this just blends everything in. Anyway, like I said, I'm not doing a makeup tutorial. <laughs> so anyway, I've also got a mascara that I'm gonna use. I finally got the Laura Mercier Caviar Mascara that I have wanted to try forever. And I've only just got my hands on it, so. I'm gonna use that today and get ready, but it should be a really lovely day. Apparently there's like a picnic and we've got Vespers. It should be a really, really lovely day. So I'm looking forward to that. Okay, I just wanted to show you my makeup. The Caviar Mascara is literally my new favorite mascara. I don't think I'll ever use another one. I've been using the same mascara for about two years. So it's about time I found another good one. And the Laura Mercier one, wow look at those and you can just keep building it like it just doesn't go clumpy i love it love it love it love it now i need to do my hair which is obviously just going to be a bun because i can't be asked with my hair and i'm gonna get dressed today's underwear set of choice is the lace emma bra basically i just live in emma bras at the moment but i'm going for this gorgeous rose color i'm wearing an all black outfit so it doesn't really matter what set i wear and this is one of my favorite colors you know, I love nude and I love all things kind of pinky nude and this is just perfect. It looks so, so nice on. Obviously I can't show you though because it's a little bit see-through and I don't want to get my channel blacklisted by YouTube. So I'm showing you on the bed and I will show you my outfit when I'm dressed. Good morning everyone. It is our first like proper day here. It's actually our only day here in Paris. Today we are going for a picnic, I believe. We're supposed to do some shopping at Cezanne, but I don't know if that's happening anymore. So I'm actually just gonna find out what we're doing when we're downstairs. But I'm wearing, obviously, my Lace Emma set from Intimacy Me, it's on underneath. I'm wearing a top from Zimmerman. I've got Stella McCartney trousers on, Dior belt, Dior bag, and then Prada pumps. I've also got my Dior blanket with me in Ali's bag in case I get cold, because I always get cold. <laughs> but everything will be linked down below, including my my underwear so let's get going we have just been in a car for about half an hour but we've arrived and the sun is out perfect day so hopefully I won't get too chilly I think we're gonna be having a picnic in this gorgeous park. park picnic in the park picnic in the park but I think you can see my skin a lot better now that we're outside and oh my gosh it's like I've got like a full face of foundation on but I'm barely wearing anything <gasps> love it Love it, love it, love it. We just finished up at the picnic. It was so nice. Oh, such a good group. I'm having the best time. And look, behind me just looks so Instagrammable. Look at that. But we're about to get in cars now. We're gonna go and do some shopping. We've all been like really bad influences on each other. And we've all decided that we're gonna head to Dior and we're gonna do some shopping. And then I think we're gonna get a coffee at L'Avenue. So it should be really good. We are just back at the room and I'm quickly changing my outfit just to get some more pictures. And I've got my lace Emma bra underneath here as well, which this is one of the things that I'm really, really happy that I found bras that like work for me because wearing white shirts, like you can literally Literally, usually see everything I've missed a button oh no this is not chic Lydia this is not chic hold on oh my god I've actually missed a button <laughs> but this was the one big problem that I always had because I wear a lot of white tops and okay what have we done here oh I've done the wrong button at the top <laughs> oh dear it's hard doing it like this 
yeah no so the biggest thing that i have is because i wear a lot of white tops is if you don't wear a bra underneath them you can pretty much see everything and so finding bras that actually like go under my white sheer blouses is perfect because you actually can barely even see this underneath and i feel very much like secure and covered without having visible straps which is great so I'm just popping on this H&M Studio shirt because it's actually quite cold. It's a little bit fresh in Paris today. So I thought I'd change into this before we head out shopping. We're going to head to Dior and do some shopping there with all of the girls. Oh, I've got eyebrow pencils. Cute. Tuck this in and go for a coffee. Right, let's go. Outfit is... Oh my God, it's such a mess behind me. So sorry. Stella trousers, Dior belt, H&M blouse. Bottega Veneta bag and Prada sling bags. Let's go. We have found the new Dior store. I think this is only temporary though, right? Yeah, or it's in, sure. well until the Avenue Montaigne when it's back maybe, up and running. Maybe let's have two. Because I do prefer the other one. Yeah, I mean it's beautiful. Beautiful, yeah, yeah. Gorgeous. Oh look, they've put like a faux front on it. Can you see that? Ooh. Of like balconies and stuff. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Good afternoon everyone. We have finished up at Dior. I'm definitely not having my second Red Bull of the day. <laughs> I bought the festival bands that I wanted and I got those, sorry, there's like French people shouting next to me. Shh, I'm vlogging. Yeah, I got the festival bands that I wanted and I also got some flat shoes because I needed them and they're beautiful. And Ali got some shoesies as well. So we're just having something light to eat and then we are literally, as soon as I get my camera out, they're all shouting. It's like a family reunion. And then we're going to go and get ready for the party this evening. We're actually going to be having dinner with Laura Mercier herself. So that's going to be incredible. And I love my outfit for tonight. So yeah, I'm excited. So we're finally back at our room. It's had a nice little spruce up. So I am able to show you. Oh my God, there's more stuff here. What is this? So I think they've given us the... Oh, shut up. So the simple human mirror is a gift? Wow. Oh, that's amazing. I hope I can get that home safely. All of this stuff here has been left in our room. So we've got some lip liners. You know that I love the Laura Mercier lip liners anyway. I think I'm going to try and create something on my eyes with the caviar sticks for tonight. And then I've got some brow pencils there as well. I need to put these all in a bag. We are back at the room and I've just finished up refreshing my makeup. I have the original tinted moisturizer on my face in shade Tawny. Then I've also used, which I never ever use, I've used the translucent powder and I would never usually do that. And it has done exactly what I want it to do here. It's like mattified it so that I don't look sweaty. So I'm wearing that as well. I've got caviar mascara on. I've got one of their caviar sticks on my eyelids, which is the shade copper. And then on my lips, I've got Run Pale. So I'm wearing that one. So I'm gonna get into my outfit now, but I'm really enjoying my makeup. I wanted to do something a bit more dramatic, but I haven't got time. So I'm just gonna get my outfit on and get ready. The, where's my underwear? I need to show you the underwear that I'm wearing this evening. Where have I put it? So this evening I'm going for the Emma lace bra in the nude colour. The theme this evening is all like nudes and beiges and my outfit is nude and beige and white so I thought that this was perfect. But yeah, this is the set I'm going to wear for this evening. Super comfortable but super pretty as well. Okay, this is my outfit for this evening. I've got a mango shirt on with my, I can never say the brand name but it's like Ors, Orsaris something. I'll link it in the description box down below, but it's like this kind of corset skirt, which is very short, but I don't really care. I've got Louboutin heels, and then I've got my Bottega Veneta bag. Hair is just in the same bun I did earlier because I didn't have time to do it. And then you can see my little bra under here. That's the Emma bra that I'm wearing underneath, which is nicely concealed. But yeah, good to go. Ooh, don't fall on the cobbles. <laughs> Oh, oh my god! Wow! Hi guys! <laughs> it's not intimidating at all. <laughs> Look at this! Wow! 
Right, slackers. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> and then they put inside the cheese. No, they had it not. Oh. Uh, only four or uh, oh. Hello, skirt. Yeah. It, it might be a belt. Yeah. Yeah. It might be a belt. <laughs> this is the best this thing I've ever seen. Oh. Some oh. Ernesta oh. Porte. You look amazing. Or, or Sund Iris. I'm not, um, oh. it's amazing. Oh. I would not look like that. Yes, you would. Oh, don't. The pasta in the cheese. I, oh. <laughs> You're literally saying like, oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, look at us all. I don't think I've seen everyone with their phones out this much as a the pasta. Oh my god, and he's got a Oh yeah, a bit of parmesan. A bit of parmesan. Mix that right in. Yes. We're so British. We're like, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for joining us for our uh, third evening. We're very happy to have uh, to have you here. Uh, it's a pleasure to, to host all of you. Um, you know we're, we're doing this event in Paris because Paris is a city that means a lot to the brand Laura Mercier and to Laura Mercier herself. It's where she crafted her, you know, her skills. She owned her skills. She, she, uh, she went to art school here. It's a very important city for us. So I'm very honored to uh, bring uh, the incredible Madame Laura Mercier to you. <laughs> Me. I told everyone, right? <laughs> no, I promise. <laughs> Welcome everybody. Very glad to be with you. I can't believe it's like the world is concentrating here you know, for this event. So, and what they prepare to do is pretty phenomenal. So I think you're going to have a great evening and oh my God, I can see you again. Hi! Hi! Good morning everyone. I am sporting an alco tummy and a very sore throat from laughing so loud. But I thought I, I just slapped myself then. I thought I would show you my last underwear look for the trip, which I can show on because it's not see-through. But this is again the Blush Emma non-underwire bra. It's a triangle bra with the matching briefs. And as you probably realize, this is basically what I live in and it's super comfortable, perfect for traveling home. So I'm gonna get dressed now, but like I mentioned, all of the outfits and underwear that I'm wearing will be linked in the description box down below as well as any of my makeup and bits like that. But I'm gonna get dressed and stop talking to you in my underwear and we're gonna get ready to go home. But I am gonna unbox what I bought with you as well. So we've got that to come, don't worry. This is the outfit. So I've got the H&M Studio blouse on, some very creased Joseph trousers, which I didn't have time to iron, some Jimmy Choo flats, an acne leather jacket and my Bottega Veneta bag. Funny story, I bought some shoes yesterday in Dior, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, not in a minute, but later on in the video. And I bought them because I had always liked them, but there was a pair of Bottega Veneta shoes I wanted. My Teresa launched a whole load of like Bottega stuff online and it was like selling out so quickly and it took me ages to purchase it and I didn't think it had gone through and it had gone through. So now I have shoes waiting for me at home and I have Dior shoes. So it's a bit of a shoe haul as well from Paris, but we're gonna see if they actually arrive because I just, I feel like something's gonna go wrong. So yeah, my eyes are starting to look really tired as well. I'm getting like my squinty eyes that I get when I'm really tired. But just waiting for Ali and we're gonna head out, check out, head home. Good evening everyone. We have just got home from Paris. Oh my gosh, so tired. I've already put on some like cozy clothes. Carrie has baked us brownies. Ledge. Absolute ledge. Ooh, the colors on this camera, very yellow. I'm not sure I like it. I am coming at you from the new Canon G7X Mark III. I absolutely smashed the crap out of my old one and decided to order a new one just before I left. And it arrived like the day that we left. So that was that. We had a bit of an eventful morning just to bring you up to speed. Last night we obviously partied into the early hours of the morning and then we went and got McDonald's at like 1 a.m. And Ali actually, I think he bought our McDonald's and he also bought Vic and Alex's because we had cash on us and I don't think they had their cards, so that was fine. So he got his money out of his backpack that was behind the seat. Yeah. Yes, Lummy. Yeah. Come on. Then when we got to the hotel, we got out of the car 
Ali walked into the elevator and realised that he'd left his bag in the taxi. Well, it wasn't a taxi, it was a like a private hire chauffeur and the car drove off and took his bag with him and they were like, no, don't worry, he'll just drop it back in the morning. Unfortunately, the bag was never found. So we're guessing that Mr. Taxi Driver may have taken it. I'm sorry that I look so bedraggled, but I am. It was quite emotional. There's a lot of camera equipment in there and lost you know, a considerable amount of valuable stuff. But we are looking on the bright side of things and not letting it get us down because as I said on Twitter, if you told me I had to burn it all to dust and I would get links back, I would have done it. So that's that perspective for you. Yeah, um, the yeah that's what we would have done. <laughs> Where is links? But usually I would not vlog now because when I get back from trips, that's why sometimes these vlogs just end really abruptly. But I'm trying to stop doing that where I just stop vlogging because then I spend days feeling guilty that I haven't finished the vlog properly. And I just, yeah. So I've also got some bits to show you that I purchased whilst in Paris. So I thought I would show you those and also some items that, well, an item that I purchased that I didn't actually think went through, but it did. So I don't know how that happened, but yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna have some dinner. We are having the most chilled out evening ever. We are gonna watch back to back Peaky Blinders and just chill. I don't think it's cold enough for the fire today, but I would love to have a fire. I'd love to. I feel like it's just so cozy. <laughs> oh, I'm balancing you on there. <laughs> My hair is not looking very chic this evening. It's, do you know what? We need to just tie this up properly. Get it back, get it off my face. I even washed my hair this morning, which felt amazing. Oh, that feels good. Lummy's having some dinner. So if you can hear her eating, that is why. There we go. Right, let's get into this box. So yeah, as I was saying, I basically got an email saying that Bottega Veneta had launched on my Teresa. And I went and had a look and they had one size four and a half in these shoes. And so I tried to purchase them, but it took me ages. And there was literally like one size left. And by the time I'd purchased, everything had sold out. So I kind of thought it must have gone through, but by accident. But I got a dispatch notification. So we're going to go with it. Now they are half a size smaller than I would usually order. I was just going to play it by ear, but... Vic said that apparently they actually come up quite small, so you do sometimes need to go half size down. So fingers crossed that they actually do fit, and it was all a great work of fate. Obviously, this is not part of any work that I do with my Teresa. This is a purchase that I made myself, but obviously I do work with them, but I shop there as well because they're lovely to, to shop with, so yeah. I just thought I'd open these up. Okay, are they gonna fit? Are they gonna fit? Mm. Oh, they do look quite big. So I got the strappy black ones. I thought they would go quite nicely with my clutch. I'm just gonna put my foot in them and see if they fit. Well, maybe they do. I mean, it's tight. I think that if the leather stretches out a little bit, yeah, I can get away with wearing these, I think. They're a bit tight over, because I've got really wide feet. Hmm, they're quite uncomfortable, you know, and I think that might, sorry, I'm sat all the way over here. I think that might be because I've got such wide feet and these are just like for delicate, thin feet, but that is not what my feet are. Lummy, what's up? Pardon? But these are the shoes that I got, they are the square toed, <laughs> people are gonna say they look like duck feet. They're the square toed Bottega Veneta strappy shoes. I really love them. So maybe if I like stretch them out a little bit, they'll work because they actually do fit perfectly other than the fact that I've got really wide feet. I feel like I need to show you more. Can you see? This is not helpful. Maybe I'll show you another day in a vlog or something. 
But yeah, I do really like them, so I'm gonna keep them for now and see how we get on. Otherwise, I'll just sell them because these will sell like hotcakes. They literally just sold out in seconds online. So let's put those ones away for now. And then what I purchased in Christine Dior, I knew, that I tried to pick these up at the airport, but I couldn't because they didn't have them in stock. So I got myself the friendship kind of bracelets. Now they come as a pair. I don't intend on wearing them as a pair. I'll wear them individually. But I got the blue ones because obviously I've got the blue bag and blanket and I just picked up those. There we go. Now it's all part of my little stack. <laughs> You've got to remember that Lumi was the uh, vocal one way back in the day, but yeah, stack is coming along. I'll keep this one because I'll wear it like another time. In there. And then I picked up some nude flats because I really, really liked the nude flats. I think they're really flattering that they had. They did have these gorgeous polka dot pumps, but I was just like, I just get so much wear out of new flats. And the, I love the way that the straps on the back looked with like white tops. And obviously I wear so many white tops. So I picked myself up a pair of these. Obviously I have nude flats already from Prada, but I liked the detailing of these. So I treated myself thinking I hadn't got the Bottega Veneta shoes, but I had. Ali picked up some trainers as well. And obviously I've got my new camera. So it's been not too bad like arriving home to some nice bits and pieces. It's obviously just a shame with how everything ended in Paris, but the Laura Mercier team were amazing. They helped us so much and so did the people at the hotel. I can't remember the name of the hotel that we stayed at, the Royal Monsieur or something like that. There was one particular lady and she was incredible, like absolutely incredible. She helped us so much. And obviously the girls from Laura Mercier did as well. So we're just, we're gutted that it happened, but you know, it could have been worse. So it's all good in the hood. So whilst Ali's getting unpacked, cause that is what he will be doing now. I am way too tired. I'm gonna sit on the sofa, drink some water, wait for him to come and get the TV room all set up and snuggle down. So as mentioned, all of my underwear pieces that I've worn in this video will be linked in the description box down below. I am still wearing my bra because even when I'm in cozy clothes, they are so comfortable. It is ridiculous. And if you want to find anything else out about the Sarah Jessica Parker collaboration with Intimacy Me, then I will link it in the description box down below where you can go and watch the video and play with all the interactive bits and bobs. But I'll also link every set that I've worn and any of my favorites as well, because I know that I've not stopped going on about this, but it is just so nice to be wearing underwear and, and wearing underwear that's like nice. Like even Ali compliments my underwear, so it's, it's a nice feeling and for it to be nice underwear good quality comfortable and also doesn't break the bank like you're gonna have to spend a little bit of money for nice underwear but this one is a great price point so i will link them down below and thank you to laura mercier for allowing me to come on this amazing trip and hang out with so many amazing girls i'm feeling very very grateful at the moment to be doing what i'm doing and be doing it alongside so many lovely people as well so yeah I am sorry that I look like a toe and I'm going to go and snuggle on the sofa, so 